Horizontal drilling and multi-stage fracturing has revolutionized the economics of oil and gas exploitation in North America. The industry continues to look to innovative technology and methods to increase recovery. One evolution has been to drill multilateral wells in both single and layered formations. Beyond the increased reservoir contact and production achieved, return on investment is dramatically improved through shared vertical drilling, stimulation, artificial lift, equipping, and tie-in costs. Current challenges with completion of multilaterals include complex and costly operational procedures, lack of selective lateral access, burst collapse risks, as well as limitations on lower completion and artificial lift systems due to inside diameter restrictions. To address these challenges, Modern Wellbore Solutions has designed the world's first full-bore, cased hole, pressure-rated multilateral junction assembly. The whipstock assembly includes a lead mill, string mill, follow mill, retrievable whipstock and equalization sub, junction body and sleeve, expansion joint, tri-directional anchor and liner hanger top landed seal assembly. After drilling of the lower lateral and installation of liner along with liner hanger, the whipstock assembly is run in hole and oriented via measurement while drilling, or MWD. The liner top landed seal assembly is connected into the liner hanger packer of the lower lateral completion string. Once a positive pressure test has been confirmed, downward mechanical motion is applied to exert compressive force onto the shear ring within the expansion joint. The string continues to move downward where it lands out on top of the anchor, which shears and engages the slips into the intermediate casing. To initiate drilling of the upper lateral, alternating tension and compression is applied to the drill string until the bolt connecting the casing mill bit to the whipstock shears. The casing window is then milled with the lead, string, and follow mills to ensure proper gauge hole is executed. Using today's current window milling technology ensures the rat hole trajectory is in line with the auto alignment equipment used during the mating procedure of leg one and leg two. Once the rat hole is complete, the lead, string, and follow mills are pulled out of hole. Directional drilling tools are picked up and the next lateral is drilled. After the upper lateral is drilled and reamed, a whipstock retrieval tool is run in hole on drill string and latched into the whipstock via a key and keyhole connection. Upward motion on the retrieval tool shears the pins in the equalization port as well as the bottom of the expansion joint and pulls the junction body into the original whipstock position leaving only one possible path for the second liner to travel. Once the expansion joint is fully extended and locked into its upward position, a collet in the junction body collapses to release the whipstock and equalization sub so they can be retrieved from the wellbore. The lower portion of the junction body rail guide system is now aligned with the casing window. The second completion string, including the mating sub, is then run into the upper lateral. A bull nose on the bottom of the liner is deflected off the junction body and into the upper lateral. To mate the upper and lower junction, the male portion of the auto alignment system is ran on the upper junction, which guides itself into the female portion, which is awaiting on the lower junction. Sufficient compression is applied to top of junction and below the upper liner hanger, at which point cement is pumped throughout the annulus in leg two, and the upper liner hanger is set. The tieback string is run in hole, and the drilling rig is moved off well site. A frack crew is then moved on site for stimulation operations. The internal sleeve in the mating sub is initially positioned to enable stimulation of the upper lateral, as there is a conduit from TD to surface in lateral two. Increasing hydraulic pressure from surface opens the hydraulic toe port in the upper lateral. Leg two can now be stimulated. 
After stimulation operations are complete, wireline is ran into the wellbore with the dual anchored stroking tool, coupled with lateral selection technology and placed across the upper lateral sleeve and sleeve housing. The upper sleeve is shifted downward to allow room for the lower sleeve to shift upward. The lateral intervention tool is pulled up above the converging area, rotated 180 degrees, and lowered into the lower lateral while placed across the lower sleeve and sleeve housing. At this point, the lower sleeve is shifted up into position to create a conduit from TD to surface in lateral 1 and is now ready for stimulation. Once the toe valve in leg 1 has been hydraulically open. Once stimulation is complete, the mill out assembly is picked up and ran in hole coupled with the E-coil ACOS steerable system and leg 1 is milled out. Once TD'd with milling assembly, the system is pulled back and slips are engaged into sleeve 1. The sleeve is shifted down to allow production from both laterals. The milling assembly is pulled up past the converging area and adjusted to run into leg 2, at which point debris and plugs are milled out of leg 2. Modern Wellbore Solutions is dedicated to the advancement of multilateral wells with continuous innovation of cost and time-efficient drilling and completion 